the ultimate experience is a project, to see how many games I can play before I eventually get old and die, or find more important things to do with my time. These were my experiences. The Adventures of Goose Begins Because the Souls games are known for their difficulty, I'm going to add something to this series. You see that little counter that just popped up in the corner? That'll tell you how many times I died. If it's really high, you're free to make fun of me. And if it isn't, you'll probably still make fun of me. Also, I'm going to kill every boss in the series, so I guarantee that count will get pretty high. Rolled right into the pillar. And so it begins. Oh no, I've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Curse you, Steven Spielberg, for planting such thoughts in the minds of the enemies. I think this guy's pathing is broken. He just keeps walking in circles talking about how there's no more sane people in Boletaria, while he just walks in circles talking to himself. Balls! Now's my chance for revenge. That could have gone better. Still got revenge though. Of course I make it through the first level without dying, then eat it while platforming in the Nexus. Ain't that ironic? Phalanx is dead. Finally, not a boss, but I got real tired of dying to that dragon on the bridge. So the dragon's dead. Tower Knight's dead. Yeah, playing the game as it was meant to be played is for chumps. Cheat to win. Guys, I think these enemies might drop shards of hardstone. Just a feeling, though. This is a trap. See, some traps in the Souls games are subtle. And some are just rooms of gunpowder with a pyromancer in them. Vanguard's dead. Adjudicator's dead. than I've ever dreamed of. That's it. That pit just there. Go on. Get a little closer. You're full of shit, Patches. But I'll take the bait. Just so I have good reason to kick your ass later. I know. Here. Take this as a token of my friendship. You've seen one of these before, surely. Hmm. Okay. But you're on thin ice. Ah, I've been tricked by the fresh spice. Why couldn't it have been something else? Like scary spice. Or baby spice. What's up, man? Just sitting around? Pondering your orb? That's cool. And that, kids is why you look at the ground before moving in these games. God damn it, I did it again. Same hole too. I can't even follow my own advice. I am a humble servant. I do not wish to interfere. I won't cause you trouble. I won't. Now it may seem rude to kill someone who says they won't cause trouble. Thing is that this guy is a liar, and if you don't kill him, he'll resurrect the boss. Which would mean I can't say things like... Fool's Idol's dead. This is just like Dark Souls. 
Actually, this came first, so I guess it would be more accurate to say this is just like Demon Souls. Armor Spider's dead. I love this loading screen. Just two nerdy dudes fighting. It's like they made the Dark Souls Reddit into a loading screen. One of the big problems with this game is that you have your equip load and also your load to everything that you're carrying. So sometimes you go to pick up an item and the game says that you can't. So you have to go all the way back to the Nexus to stockpile Thomas and drop off all your upgrade materials and heavy shit. And then when you come back, the item you wanted to pick up is gone. It's just a really stupid system. And I think everyone's happy that they never brought it back. Oh my god. They're everywhere. I've died and gone to lizard heaven. And they're gone. I was stunlocked by how many of them there were. Didn't even kill any. Life is a circus and I am its clown. Flame lurker's dead. Also, there's probably going to be a sharp jump in deaths here. Uh, two of those are from actually dying to Flame Lurker. The rest are from the run to this boss room. Uh, because I'm just a dog water at platforming. This is Dragon God. He's the final boss of this Archstone. And you'd think he'd be this giant epic fight. But no, he's another gimmick fight. You shoot him with some ballistas and he just falls over. Underwhelming fight considering his name is Dragon God. Dragon God's dead. Hey, come back here. Flying won't save you. Get down here. Okay, it turns out that flying could save him. You know, I should just stop swinging at those guys. This is the old hero. A gimmick boss that you can fight entirely without realizing that there's a gimmick. Uh, he's blind. So if you just put on the thief's ring and wear very little armor, he can't hear you. So you just hit and run until he's dead. Old hero's dead. This is the Storm King. Another gimmick boss. And uh, I think a lot of people will agree one of the highlights of Demon Souls. Because you run in, you grab this sword called the Storm Ruler, and then uh, if you're like me, you die. And you come back with the Storm Ruler equipped, and you just wipe these annoying flying manta rays off the face of the planet. It's a phenomenal fight, and it's incredibly satisfying after all of the hot shots that they take at you throughout the rest of the level. And with that, the Storm King is dead. Everyone say hello to Yurt. He's an asshole. And if you let him out, he'll go back to the Nexus and start killing NPCs. So I will let him out, but I'm solving this problem early on. Yurt? More like yeet. Valare via, scumbag. Leechmonger's dead. Man. Who would have thought an area called the Valley of Defilement would look like... Absolute shit. It sounded like such a lovely place. This is one of Miyazaki's infamous poison swamps. But I have so much health regen going that the poison's effects are basically negligible. This is one of the reasons why Demon Souls is the easiest Souls game. If you know what you're doing, you can basically build your character to just regenerate all of your damage. It's great, but no Souls game afterwards let you do that. Dirty Colossus is dead. More importantly though, I don't have to run through the valley anymore. That area sucks. This is probably the easiest boss fight in the game. Which is really saying something. You're supposed to fight that knight in front of Maiden Astraea. And she heals herself, so you can't just hit and run her. But if you deal enough damage, you can just outdo her healing by shooting her from up here. 
You have abandoned us. Anyway, Maiden Stray is dead. Adios, amigo. Sir, why are you like this? This is another uh, infamous section in Demon Souls. Because if you just press yourself against this fog wall, you can shoot the boss to death. I'm not going to do that because you have to fight the second one anyway. But if you didn't know how easily cheesable Demon Souls is, this is a really good example. Man eaters are dead. Oh, there's another. Great. It was very cool of FromSoft to say, the run from the man eaters to the next boss is too short. What if we put multiple of the most annoying enemies in the game in one stairwell? Brilliant move, FromSoft. Here we have another gimmick boss that if I remember correctly, doesn't become a gimmick boss unless you play online. In which case, the NPC that I'm fighting is controlled by another player. It's a really cool gimmick, but I'm not entertaining the idea of having to fight someone online and dealing with the scraping spear and all of the PvP bullshit that has been created for this game. The old monk's dead. Only three left. If the carriage is rockin', don't come a-knockin', am I right, boys? No, but seriously, this carriage is full of rabid dogs. Alright. Let's all be real mature. No one say anything about his name. Nothing at all. Brian Singer worked very hard to have a cameo in this game, and we cannot disparage him. Penetrator's dead. Only two bosses left. Personally, if I knew that someone was underneath me, repeatedly shooting me in the chin, I would fly away. But maybe that's why I'm not a dragon. If old King Alant is so cool, why haven't they made a new King Alant? Checkmate, Atheist. Old King Alant's dead. Only one left. Turns out that there was a new King Alant. However, he looks a lot less uh, like a Kingdom Hearts villain, and a lot more like a Resident Evil villain. He's also incredibly easy. And now that he's dead, that's every boss in Demon Souls. I still really like Demon Souls, but personally I think it leans a little too hard into the gimmicks. Let it be known though that I do appreciate that they tried to have so many gimmicks. Some of them work really well. The playable character coming in during the Old Monk. I mean, we didn't see it, but it's cool when it happens. The Storm Ruler. That's cool. Tower Knights is so cool that they reused the gimmick for the Adjudicator fight. But for every gimmick fight that works, there's the Dragon God, which is basically just a set piece. Or the Dirty Colossus. I didn't even talk about his. He shoots flies, and you have to burn them off using torches on the edge of the stage. Uh, which, now that I'm saying it, is not that different from Armor Spider's gimmick. Anyway, it's not as good as a lot of the other games, but it's still incredibly solid. So begins the journey of Goose Jr. I feel like a lot of people have missed this, so I'll point it out. If you look through these bars, you can see the demon that you fight when you come back later. And he's just chilling. Right off the bat. Bye, stray demon. We'll deal with you later. Look at him up there. Thinking he's so smug. Hi, asylum demon. Bye, asylum demon. Not getting me this time. I learn from my mistakes. Occasionally. Asylum Demon is dead. Damn it. 
got too cocky after the ball and couldn't avoid the barrel on the stairs. It appears I don't learn from my mistakes. Oh, that's not a great place to land. Yes, thank you, Taurus. That's just what I wanted. How'd you know that? Taurus demon's dead. Siegmeier, how's that gate going? Still closed. Still closed. Mm. Great. Thanks for the update. This is Lawtrek. He's a lot like Yurt from Demon Souls, in that if you let him out, he will kill NPCs in your hub. If you let him out, he will kill the Firekeeper and render Firelink Shrine completely useless until you uh, get later into the game and can do a quest line where you get revenge using the Black Eye Orb. But we're not going to do that. We're going to solve this problem early on. Hey, buddy. How are you liking Firelink? Because it's the last thing you'll ever see, shithead. Bell gargoyles are dead. No, please, let me leave. Ha! I lived, bitch. I should stop talking sometimes. Dark Souls has a lot of absurd isometric ways of progressing to areas, and I think it's crazy that platforming to an area and curling into a ball until a bird comes by to fly you to the starting area isn't the weirdest way that you have to get somewhere. Quailag's dead. Thanks, Mildred. You rule. It's gonna be a shame when I have to kill you in three. So here's my thinking. I could go through Sen's fortress, beeline it to Ornstein and Smo, and get the Lord Vessel. Or I could beeline it directly to Pinwheel, pick up the Rite of Kindling, and then Homeward Bone, back to Firelink. Which would let me take 20 flasks into the Ornstein and Smo fight. Is the second option more cowardly? Yes, but it's what I'm going to do. Who turned that bridge? Is Patches here? Hey Patches. I don't have a reason to swing on him yet. The bridge thing didn't work. But it'll happen. It'll happen. Just give me a reason to swing, you mank rat. I thought the run to pinwheel would be easier than this. I failed to consider the wheel skeletons. Pinwheel's dead. And any jump in deaths that you may see, they're all from the run here. I didn't die to pinwheel. Don't you go in the comments and say that I died to pinwheel, it ain't true. Hi snake friend. Bye snake friend. Sucks, doesn't it? This is Big Hat Logan. You'll never guess how he got that name. It's because he's really good at drums. Well, this sucks. Holy shit. Revenge from behind. Revenge from beyond the grave. Get rolled, moron. Oh, he's still alive. You know what? I'm just gonna leave him alone for now. Out of sight. Out of mind. It's like he did nothing to me. Oh, -ho. you almost got me, Dark Souls. Ah, come on. I retract my comment. You got me, Dark Souls. Get his ass, Tarkus. Yeah, baby. The Iron Golem is dead. All thanks to Tarkus. We love you, Tarkus. Hey, this is just like Dark Souls. Wait, no, that's not right. Idiot. 
Oh god, no. Get around the corner. Alright. I'm safe. Really thought that was the end. I'm happy with that, though. Fifth try on the archers is pretty good. Smo's dead. Which means that Ornstein and Smo are dead. Six tries. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. If I had gone for second phase Smo on my first try, I probably could have done it first try, but I was a fool and kept going for second phase Ornstein. Some people are going to hate me for this, but like all girls who have any interest in me, you'll find that upon investigation, Guinevere is not real. Oh, hold on. We're about to get my favorite sound effect in the Souls series. What is this 2010 YouTube-ass sound effect? Why is it here? Who thought this was okay? Alright, Phalanx. You anachronistic mass of bitches. Round two, let's go. Phalanx is dead. Go back to your own game. Please, no, stop making me fight wheel skeletons in tight spaces. I don't have the mental fortitude for this. I never really thought about it, but this area is very similar to the tower that you climbed to get to the man-eaters. It's like this entire zone is a little Demon Souls homage. This is Crossbreed Priscilla, a furry giantess who shows her bare feet. As you can imagine, the internet loves her. And the nice thing is that she's a boss that you don't have to kill. I said that I was going to kill every boss, and that includes the Dark Souls subreddit's beat-off material. Crossbreed Priscilla's dead. Capra Demon's dead. Gaping Dragon's dead. There's no original joke I can make about that boss. Yo, what the hell are you? Okay, that doesn't really answer my question. Alright, round two, you little bitch. Where'd he go? I guess he left. You better run. I'd be scared of me too. Moonlight Butterfly's dead. Well, if I want to talk to Calf, I have to kill Sif first. So let's make like Dr. Oz and go kill a dog. No, don't limp. I already don't want to do this. Sif's dead. Now I just kind of feel sad and guilty. I went and walked my dog. Immediately after killing Sif. Let me tell you, it did not make me feel better. Come at me, you skeletal hooligan. Never mind, I'm leaving. I've had enough. Have a good day. I'm holding off on talking to Framp. I want to talk to his cooler anarchist brother. I don't actually know if they're brothers. They're the same race. Is that racist? They put the boulder back at the top of the stairs. Those assholes put it back. And it feels like they did it just to spite me. Stray demon's dead. The four kings are dead. Ka! Just the guy I wanted to talk to. Really hope you didn't hear all that racist stuff I said earlier. I didn't mean it. Was avoring me really that important? You couldn't have just picked me up. I couldn't have just grabbed one of your weird face tendrils. Remember the Valley of Defilement in Demon Souls? This area is Dark Souls equivalent of that. But it's infinitely better than the Valley of Defilement. Because you can skip like 75% of it. Brilliant save, Dark Souls. Ceaseless Discharge is dead. Yeah, I have no original jokes about that one either. Man, look at all those Taurus demons. 
That's crazy. I ain't dealing with that shit. Man. Look at all those Capras. Uh, oh, I'm getting invaded. Kirk. What a boring bitch name. Come here, Kirk. Get your shit stomped. Why do I talk? Demon Fire Sage is dead. Centipede Demon is dead. I've gone a long while without dying too often. I'm 100% ready for my death numbers to just skyrocket as soon as I get to the bed of chaos. I forgot to put the ring back on. Love lost Izalith. Everyone's favorite level, am I right? Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. There's something, 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 don't know the words. Something, 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 there's something, live and learn. Why have I heard that noise before? I recognize it. It's the thing. The thing makes that noise. Oh, no, can't go that way. Why are you like this, Dark Souls? Let's squash that little shit bug. All right. No. Wait, I got him. Better Chaos is dead. Since I'm going to the archives next, I may as well set up the DLC, so... Here's how absurd and esoteric getting to the DLC is. You gotta run to the edge of this random-ass lake until you find this gold golem. And when you kill him, he drops a lady. What's up, Dust? Then, you gotta go to the archives and kill this golem. And now you have this pendant, which will let us access the DLC later. Finding out how to get to this DLC, the week it was released, I didn't even play Dark Souls and I remember people losing their shit over it. Man. Look at all those books. So much knowledge and wisdom in one place. I wonder if they have any flat Stanley. You know it's even better than invisible enemies? Invisible platforms. And having to run across invisible platforms to get to the boss. Everyone loves the crystal caves, am I right? Seath's dead. Gwendolyn's dead. What? There's just nothing in that chest. What the hell? I'd rather it be a mimic than empty. Sorry, fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber until I am awakened again. I don't know why he's so mad. I didn't even say anything to him. I think the biggest problem with Dark Souls 1 is that the areas before most of the Four Lords are terrible. Crystal Caves, terrible. Lost Isolith, terrible. New Londo. New Londo's okay, but Tomb of the Giants, terrible. What's up, Patches? You ready to give me a reason? Thank you, Patches. That was all the reason I needed. I lived, bitch. Yeah, getting kicked into a hole doesn't feel great, does it? Nito's dead. That leaves just Gwyn and the DLC. Sanctuary Guardian's dead. 
You'd think talking to this lady would be really cool. Unfortunately, there's not much room for discussion. Get it? Who's ready to die to Artorius a bunch of times? I sure am. Alright. This spear's doing nothing on him. I'm gonna go back to the trusty halberd. Holy shit, look at that damage. Why was I using the spear? I could have been using this. Artorius is dead. Yeah. Eat shit, Calamite. Thanks for that, Go. You always were my favorite Alfred actor. That was the worst possible time that I could have healed. Calamite's dead. Only two left. Thanks for the upgrades, man. You've served your purpose. Now give me that Firekeeper soul. It may seem mean, but you'd do it too. Manus is dead. Now there's only one. That's right. The final boss is Big Hat Logan. No, but seriously, I do want to kill him for one very specific reason. There. Now I'm ready for the final boss. Gwyn's dead. That's all the bosses in Dark Souls. I know that I turned down Frampt to talk to Kath, but I'm still gonna link the fire. Now it's like nobody wins. Thus ends playthrough 4983 of Dark Souls. Always a joy to revisit. Don't have a whole lot to say about it, but I'm really happy with 69 deaths. Definitely could have been lower, but if Demon Souls hadn't shook most of the rust off, well, that number would have been way higher. And when I get to Dark Souls 2, that number is gonna just skyrocket. The journey of Goose the Third begins. Oh, I thought I could make that roll. Good start. So there's a lot of differences between Dark Souls 1 and 2. In Dark Souls 1, if you beeline it to pinwheel, you can have 20 Estus flasks right off the bat. In Dark Souls 2, uh, they give you one. And uh, if you get all of them, I believe you get 12. Thank you, Dark Souls 2. I really dug using the spear in that last game. I think I'll go with the spear or the rapier in this one, too. I really like stabbing and poking, you know? I'm thinking I'm poke-pilled. I'm a real prod cell now, you know? Who up holding your spear? Please don't kill me. Oh, I really didn't think out an exit strategy. Yeah, I kind of deserved that. Dragon Rider's dead. This is the Pursuer. You fight him a lot in this game. But if you kill him right now, before his boss introduction, you don't have to do his boss fight. I guess we're doing the boss fight. Last giant's dead. I thought I could just tank the hit to kill him, but I could. Because I'm silly, and I'm stupid, and I'm dead. God damn it. The pursuer's dead. For now. Don't attack me while I'm healing, please. Alright. Good match. Well fought. Oh, that ghost ran away. Is this a trap? It is. Thank you, mysterious ghost. I don't know that you saved my life, but you saved me from a little bit of embarrassment. Flexile sentry's dead. You guys are gonna love this. Correction, not even I loved it. 
the pursuer's dead. Again. Alright. Yep. Made it. Man, that's gotta be the worst shortcut that FromSoft's ever put in a game. Just why would you do that? I really thought that I could just run in and kill this dragon, and everyone else would sort of back off. This was not the case. Yeah, I kinda deserved that. Goodbye, talking head. I hope someday a band names themselves after you. Ornstein's dead. That's not his name. The old dragon slayer is dead. They're the same character, you know what I meant. Oh no, I ain't dealing with no wheel skeletons. Nobody said anything about these guys coming back. Not again. Yeah, get out of here. The skeleton lords are dead. One hit left. Well, that's one way to kill the pursuer. See you later, alligator. The ruined sentinels are dead. Pursuer's dead again. Oh. Must be the janitor's closet. Hey, have any of you, uh, cool cats seen a rat with a mohawk? This isn't a joke, I need to find him. Cool haircut. I'm just gonna give you a little more off the top. By which I mean your entire head. Royal Rat Vanguard is dead. Let me just put my torch in my pocket while I climb this ladder. Nothing weird about that. Y'all got inflammable pants? Out of the way. Out of the way. Come on, man. Wait. He killed himself. What a little bitch. You wanna swing for Goose the Third, you better not miss. I didn't mean what I said about your brother. Please be nice to me. The Rotten's dead. You know, I went all the way down here. To the Rotten. Because I thought the doors to Pharos were after the Rotten. Because I wanted to get the Santir Spear. And they aren't here. I mean, I had to go down here eventually, but it, it kind of feels like it was for nothing. Scorpion S. Najka is dead. Oh, cool. The area I wanted to go to was right here. I was one boss away from it. What the hell's going on? Why can't I kill anyone? Am I dead? Am I a ghost? What's happening? Did the game break? I think the game broke. So this is the Santier's Spear. A unique weapon that, uh, you have to break it, and then it gets a new moveset. And for some reason, this nest degrades your weapons really fast. So I'm just gonna bash this bird's house until I have a weapon that I want. It's everyone's favorite Dark Souls character, the love child of Dio and Lisa Trevor. The Lost Sinner's dead. Whoever decided that the Belfry Gargoyles would be better if there were five of them is an asshole. And they were wrong. Belfry Gargoyles are dead. Executioner's Chariot sucks. I refuse to fight him legitimately. I'm just going to wait for the poison to kill him. Executioner's Chariot is dead. Man, I have no idea where I'm going. Just completely lost in a fog of poison fart gas that's like trying to see through glasses made of pea soup. I can't help but think this is karma for how I dealt with the Executioner's Chariot. Hey, you poisoned yourself, idiot. Well, uh, it appears that by my own metric, I'm an idiot too. Covetous demon is dead. Dark Souls 2 has a couple of moments that should be cool, but are memorable more for being annoying 
And uh, this is my go-to. Because to get rid of the poison in the boss room, uh, you have to burn the windmill. But the game never makes that incredibly clear that you can even do that. So it ends up being one of those things that you have to learn by talking to people or through the messages or through reading uh, like a Wikipedia guide. It's a shame, it could be cool, and I don't think that they ever do anything like this again. Mitha's dead. Smelter Demon's dead. On a completely different note, I hate the Iron Keep. And Smelter Demon. And Dark Souls too. This playthrough represents a really weird horseshoe of opinions. Because the first time I played Dark Souls 2, I didn't really like it. And the second time I played it, I actually did enjoy it for the most part. DLCs I wasn't super in love with, but I liked it. This is my third playthrough, and I think that I don't like Dark Souls 2. I think that playing it right after going through Demons and Dark Souls has made a lot of my problems not only more obvious, but more annoying. I wish I could like you, Dark Souls 2. I just... You make it so hard. Old Iron King is dead. Oh, he's limping. That's not gonna work on me again, asshole. It only worked because Sif was cute. And reminded me a little bit of... Horamaru. And D-Dog. Anyway... Royal Rat Authority is dead. Prowling Magus and Congregation. The easiest boss in Dark Souls, probably the easiest in the series, is dead. Too heavy to open. Can I just break it? Oh, I'm a genius. Oh god. Duke's Dear Freya is dead. Finally, a bonfire. Aldia, can you not do that? Scares the shit out of me. There's the bonfire. Let's get these souls out of here. I hate this game. Nice try. Your trap sucks and doesn't work. Why do I bother talking? Twin dragon riders are dead. Pursuer's dead. Again. What? I thought there weren't mimics in this one. Only trapped chests. We haven't seen one of those in the entire game. You're an asshole, Dark Souls 2. Alright, slab. That's cool. I'm sorry, was that two Titanite slabs? Uh, maybe Dark Souls 2 isn't that bad. Looking Glass Knight is dead. Come on, put your shield down. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Could you stand back a couple feet? I feel like I'm about to hit the third base with Casper the Friendly Ghost. Demon of Song is dead. Aldia, can you stop doing that? Velt's dad is dead. The Pursuer's dead. Again. Why can't I... Oh, am I being invaded? Not today. Never mind, they left. Must have seen who they were dealing with. Knew not to mess with me. Didn't really want to deal with an invader anyway. Come on. Guardian Dragon is dead. 
God damn it, Aldia. Stop that. The giant lord is dead. Alright. Got the giant soul. Now back to the bonfire. That is not how I wanted to get back to the bonfire. Now we can go fight that final boss. Right now. But we've got some cleanup to do before then. Ancient dragon's dead. Vendrick's dead. No, God, please. God. Dark Lurker's dead. Back to the main story bosses. Throne Watcher and Defender are dead. Nashandra is dead. Alright, Aldia. This is for all those times you scared the shit out of me. And with that, Aldia's dead. That's every boss in base Dark Souls 2. Now there's only the DLC. See that number in the corner? Yeah, get ready for that shit to shoot up. Alright. All the main game bosses are down. Let's stomp these DLCs. And uh, get ready for that death number to jump up a lot. See, it's already jumped once. Alright. First DLC. Crown of the Sunken King. Let's go. This isn't even the right DLC. Great start. Where's that bug? Get out of here. Oh, jeez. I didn't mean to go first person and I scared myself. I'm good at video games, I swear. Let's get rid of you. Holy shit, you're a person. Well, not a person, but there's a guy down there. Damn. Dark Souls invented the worst kind of turtle. Get Beybladed, loser. No, wait, roll. Damn. I hate Beyblades now. Oh, well, I've never seen this bonfire up here. Nobody say anything. I meant to do that. It was a prank. It was a prank gone wrong. You, you just don't understand my methods. I really did mean to do that. Good God. Their cloud of fart gas is so pertinent that standing around their smell can poison you. It's like hanging out with Magic the Gathering players. Alana's dead. Grave robber, soldier, and whatever the last guy is called are dead. Sin's dead. Feel like he got significantly easier once I stopped trying to attack from the side and started attacking the belly. A lesson you'd think I'd have learned from every other Dark Souls boss. Alright. Crown of the Old Iron King. Let's go. The funny thing about Dark Souls is that some hidden walls are incredibly well hidden. Absurdly subtle. But every once in a while you get just a straight up Legend of Zelda bombable wall. Would anyone have seen that and not thought that's a hidden wall? Damn. If I was carrying a barrel of gunpowder, I probably wouldn't take it in front of the fire spewing machine. That's a really hazardous workplace. You guys should unionize. Do you guys not have like a VHS copy of Be Cool About Fire Safety to watch before you do this? Honestly, I'm not sure how I thought that would play out. Oh, he's going to explode. Well, at least he lit the torch for me. That was courteous. Can you guys please stop carrying the explosives while I'm around? Go on break, just a couple of minutes. Your foreman can allow that. I can't be asked to deal with this. 
Uh, don't mind me, boys. Just dropping a few floors, I guess. Alright, update. They did, in fact, mine. Alright, Fume Knight. I remember how to deal with you. You're going down. Fume Knight's dead. Please don't look at that number in the corner. Just, just ignore that. I hate Dark Souls too. Alon's dead. I'm so close to being done then I never have to play this game again. Smelter Demon's dead. Again. Alright. Final DLC. Crown of the Old Ivory King. Let's get this over with. Is that? Yeah, that's a frozen mimic. Damn. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Oh, I heard that. Where are you? Oh, they're invisible. God damn it, Dark Souls 2. I want to like you. Why are you like this? I have the priestess. All right, I'm pretty sure I know what that does. Let's go pay those invisible pricks a visit. Yeah, not so tough when you're visible, are you? Man, I have no idea where that invader went. Maybe he's stuck somewhere or gave up. Is this a trap? So that's where that invader went. Very cool. Thank you, Dark Souls. The King's Pet's dead. Really looking forward to fighting two of those at once later. Oh, right. I forgot I had to summon the goddamn White Knight Avengers before I fight this boss. Like I'm assembling all the Reddit mods to defend an e-girl's honor. Back into the city, I guess. Oh, he's going for the heal. You really screwed the pooch now. I have to take all the victories that I can before I die repeatedly to the last couple bosses. Consider this revenge for all the times you tried to crush me with boulders. How does it feel to be on your own with no direction home? Like, well, I guess not like a rolling stone, but the intention is the same. Hey. I'm putting together a team to kill the monarchy. You look cool. Get in. I remember this room. You're the problem. Yep. It's you. Okay. I'm not sure why I thought this plan would work. I shit on Dark Souls 2 a lot, but honestly, I think this is probably one of the best fights in the entirety of Dark Souls. Bringing in all these knights to help fight the other ivory knights... That's Dark Souls at its peak. Oh, holy shit. Second try, baby. The Ivory King's dead. I'm the Dark Souls 2 champion. Uh, it, just ignore that number in the corner. It really means nothing. Lud and Zalan are dead. It's 3 a.m. My heart's beating out of my chest. I feel like I'm gonna die. I never have to do that run again. I don't even know which one of these is the exit. I'm done with Dark Souls 2. I hate this game. There they are. All together. Sunken King. Old Iron King. Ivory King. It's all been done. I want to cry. Beware. Goose the Fourth is on the loose. Alright. Dead to a crystal lizard. That's a great start to this playthrough. Alright. 
Good trade, mate. Udex Gundir's dead. That's a beautifully owned sword style that you have. It would be a shame if someone repeatedly beamed you in the head with a fireball, wouldn't it? So if this is your first normal Dark Souls 3 playthrough, this will be the first chest that you come across. Which is a real dick move because... It's a mimic. The first chest in the game is a mimic. Vort's dead. That's not his name. His name is Vort. Vort is dead. Hey, this is just like Dark Souls. No, wait, that's not right. I already made this joke. Look at this Bloodborne man. Just straight out of Bloodborne. I'd say go back to Yarnum, but that feels vaguely racist. Hey. That guy just fell off the bridge. Probably should have made it wider. Also, I don't want to be mean, but that dog ain't right. Now, now. Think twice before you go down that road. I agree. We're gonna need a foolproof plan to kill that thing. Come here, you fiery bitch. I'm gonna stab that butthole. Ow. I'm sorry, Mildred. I know you helped Goose Jr. kill Quelag, but... I don't appreciate you throwing poop at me. And what do you have to say, Horace? Couldn't have said it better myself. Please no. Alright, let's see how you deal with the ladder. Nice moves, idiot. Oh, right, no health. Guess that second guy dealt with it pretty well. Alright, round two, let's go. Yeah, didn't handle it too well that second time, did you? Still the master of ladder combat. Crystal Sage is dead. Sorry guys, my elevator's here. Catch you later. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't like this game anymore. Remember when I said that Prowling Magus and Congregation was the easiest boss in Dark Souls? Yeah, this is how you do the same boss, but good. Deacons of the Deep are dead. Hey, y'all love poison swamps? Then you'll love Dark Souls 3, because this isn't the only one. Nice try, idiots. I'm invincible when I light this fire. Oh, I can't get out. You're an asshole. Oh god. I'm so sorry for what I did to your race. Please put me down. Throwing me over the side felt unnecessary. Almost personal. Free levels. With no side effects. Thanks, Yol. I'm sure this will work out great for the both of us. Hey, there's a boss fight with a giant tree. How do you think the player should do damage to it? I don't know. What if the player had to slash at a giant exploding ball sack? Brilliant. You're promoted. Curse rotted Greatwood is dead. The Abyss Watchers are so cool. I almost don't want to kill them. Turns out that it doesn't matter what I want. The Abyss Watchers are dead. No way I'm winning this one. I'm just going to kill myself. See? He didn't win, so I consider that a win for me. Now I could use these souls to level up before High Lord Walnir. Or I could buy this really big hat. Alright, you giant skeletal bitch. Let's dance. Walnir's dead. Oh god, not Yol. Anyone but Yol. Who could have predicted that using your life force to give me free levels would end poorly? 
There they go. The mimic and the stray demon are fighting. The race war begins. Okay, the mimic was not as strong as I thought. The race war is over. Nobody tell Vin Diesel, he'll be heartbroken. Rest in peace, Horace. You always knew just what to say. Oh, not Quilana. I guess old age got her. I feel a little less bad about killing her now. It's like I never did it. Poison Swamp number two. Everybody give it up for Poison Swamp number two. I know they say, don't bite the hand that feeds you, but what do you do to the hand that's trying to eat you? Is there a saying for that? Hey Orm, mind if I borrow the Storm Ruler for a bit? Okay, thanks. You can kill me now. That's right, Yorm. I'm back. And I've called in the big guns. The fat dude who looks like an onion. Bet you weren't prepared for that. I know a lot of people don't love the Yorm the Giant fight, but god damn, I think it might be one of my favorites in the series. It's definitely my favorite gimmick fight. But the pop-off when I first fought him, and I picked up the Storm Ruler, with Sigurd at my side. You just can't replicate that. That's the good shit. Get his ass, Sigurd. Fulfill your promise. Hell yeah. Gorm the Giant's dead. Try going through that door, idiot. Okay, he went over the door. I guess I can't get mad at ingenuity. Thanks, Henri. Just one more hit. Pontif Sullivan is dead. Oh shit, it's Jon Snow. Eat the Santire, Jon. Damn. Didn't even try to block. Ate that with all the fixins. Put that high kick, take the A train on a plate, and just gobbled that shit up. Stay down, Jon. No spin-off for you. Everyone's favorite part of Dark Souls 1 was the Anor Orlando archers, right? Well, I got good news for you. They did it again. Well, he's not leaving the bottom of that ladder. Only one option. Geronimo! Damn. Kinda thought that would do more damage. There's Henri. Sadly, I didn't get enough free levels from Yol before I beat the Abyss Watchers, so... Yol died, but Yuria didn't show up. Which means that I can't marry Henri here. Dark Souls really going out of its way to solidify my maidenless status. This is Aldrich. If he looks like Gwendolyn, it's because he's currently eating Gwendolyn. He's also eating Gravelord Nito and Crossbreed Priscilla. And that is maybe my favorite connection to Dark Souls 1 in the whole game. It's just a really cool idea that the boss from this game is eating the bosses from the other game. Aldrich is dead. See, the trick to Dancer is that you heal behind this pillar where she can't hit you. Dancer is dead. Contrary to popular belief, this was not the double dragon that I wanted to play today. First dragon's dead. Oh. I guess the other one died of a broken heart. Poor lovesick dragon. Regardless, that's a double kill. We take those. Come on, give me the confirmation. This could be worth it. Let's go, boys. Dragon Slayer armor's dead. I don't think I got his souls, but whatever. Oh, and they still gave me an ember. That's nice. Moment of truth. Oh, they gave me his souls anyway. Alright, very good trade. I don't want to jinx this, but sometimes Osiris is really easy, and sometimes he's really hard. 
Today he was really easy. But more importantly, he's dead. Hey, this is just the first boss again. How lazy these developers must be. Personally, I could never tolerate asset reuse in any game series. Anyway, remember to tune in to whatever Yakuza video comes out after this one. Champion Gundir is dead. Don't mind me, boys. Just gonna dunk my entire ass head into this pool of wax. Oh no, I think I lost my hat in the wax. The Crystal Sage is dead. Again. Hey! That's Koth. Or Fromped. I guess it could be either, really. Oh no, am I being racist again? Yeah, baby. Two for one. Get dunked on, you inbred losers. This is your grave, but I can use it too. Well, consider this me dancing on both of our graves. Lorien and Lothric are dead. Old Demon King is dead. A detail that I've always loved about this arena is that the piles are made of DS1 bosses. We got Capra, and Asylum, and Porus. And up there we got the Centipede. Ain't that cool? It's like the Aldrich thing all over again. It sure is lovely meditating on this cliffside. I hope that no foreign force teleports me to a random mountain covered in dragons. I just wanted to meditate. Can't have shit in Lordran. There. Ancient Wyvern's dead. No more teleporting. Oh, come on. Yeah, baby. The Nameless King and King of Storms are dead. All we got now is the Soul of Cinder. I think that putting these thrones right in the hub is really smart because it acts as a constant reminder of who you're going up against. But I think the thrones are also just kind of silly. Like Yorm is big, so of course he'd have a big throne. But Ludlith is just a little guy and they didn't account for his size with his throne. Aldrich is made of goo, so I guess it makes sense that they put a tarp over his throne. Realistically, he only needs a bucket with his name on it. But why do the Abyss Watchers all have to share a single throne? Why couldn't they get separate smaller chairs? It's like how Bill and Ted present their history report together. They're not one person. They should have to do separate reports. Give the Abyss Watchers several smaller folding chairs for god's sakes beautiful the soul of cinder's dead that's every boss in dark souls 3 now there's just the dlc ashes of ariandel here we go look at this barren frozen wasteland it's so nice to see Alberta representation in video games. Oh, avalanche. Man, I gotta be more careful. Mulan almost died doing shit like that. Also, I know someone who died from that in real life. Why is Mulan my first frame of reference? I don't like this. This bridge will break, won't it? I gotta know. Oh yeah, you can break it. Well, I guess I'm not going back that way. Come here, you. Oh. I thought that was going to be a smaller drop. Ha! You missed. Why would you do this, Dark Souls? I don't like you. 
Hey guys, I've got a great idea. What if we redid the Sif fight, but made it worse in every possible conceivable way? Worse camera, ads, and NPC? Wouldn't that be great? While we're at it, why don't we just redo the Arturius of the Abyss boss fight, but you have to perfect a karaoke game on Machine Gun Kiss to get a parry in for some dumb bullshit. You know, get a 100 on your math test to kick Manus in the dick. Who cares anymore? Grave Tender and Great Wolf are dead. Monologuing, walking slowly. Such is the conceit of I already know that I can't compete with that. Truth. So I'm just gonna leave. You left See ya. Summer. That is a big ass bell. Where did that even come from? How did that get here? Is Andre Tarkovsky filming a movie nearby? Wait a minute. This is the area where you meet Crossbreed Priscilla. Wow. I clapped. I clapped because I know that. Oh, that's a lot of enemies. I'm probably screwed as soon as the cutscene ends. As ashes will be, ever seeking fire. Honestly, the cutscene was so long that I forgot I was going to die. That's on me. I always heard that Sister Freed was so hard, but this isn't that bad. Yeah. Ariandel and Freed are dead. That really wasn't that bad. Oh. I mean, I can see why people would find that hard. If I'm being honest, that still doesn't seem that bad. Let's go, baby. Come back for another phase, I'll stomp you down again. Sister Freed is dead. On to the Ring City. How many times am I going to fall for that? And now I'm getting sucked into the ground. See, this is the difference between Dark Souls 2 and 3. Dark Souls 2, you do 9999 megadalone damage from going down more than one stair at once. But I just fell through 10 stories and a stained glass window and got sucked into the ground and I was able to walk away like nothing had happened. This is the poison windmill from Dark Souls 2. You know, the one that you have to set on fire that the game gives no indicator as possible. What, am I supposed to clap for a, a Dark Souls 2 reference? I'm not clapping for that. Poison Swamp number 3, everybody. Give it up for Poison Swamp number 3. Okay. Don't know how I survived that, but I'm not going to question it. Just take the win. I don't like that the health bar hasn't gone away. This is going to be an Ornstein and Smo fight again, isn't it? Wow, who could have possibly guessed? See, Dark Souls? You can do a good first DLC boss if you try. We'll write off the Grave Tenders as a one-off. It's okay. You're still good. Wait a minute. This is where you talk to Frampt. Or Kath. Whichever one. Who cares? Which would make this Fire Link. Damn. Definitely needs a new coat of paint. Some real TLC. Can we get the Property Brothers on the phone? I have a project for them. Hello, lads. Truce? 
that's Frampter Cath again. But it's different from the one in Lothric Castle because that one didn't have arms. But I guess they do have arms. What was the deal with voring me into the Lord Vessel Chamber if you had hands the whole time? Alright. Point made. I think I'll go this direction. Is that the Dragon Slayer armor? Shit, I should have gone with the bridge. Dragon Slayer armor is dead. Again. Oh, we're doing the old monk fight again? Alright, I can dig it. I'll take a Demon Souls homage. Wow, is that all? That really is a little bitch of a boss fight. Half Light's dead, I guess. And it that thing, your dark soul. He said it. He said the thing. Can I turn the game off now? Yo, what the hell? Gale's thrown out Destructo Discs? That's that shit that killed Frieza. Leave me alone, man. Oh, he's invisible now. Just a teleport. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, bitch. Slave Knight Gale's dead. I'm the Dark Souls champion. Only one boss left. Dark Eater Madeira is dead. That's every boss in Dark Souls 3. But we still have one loose end to clean up before we're done. Did you think I forgot about you, Patches? You bald-headed mank rat. Not so unbreakable now, are you, asshole? Alright, now we're done.